Hi everybody. Hi. Sun Sunday story time. Yay. So Ooh. are you all okay? It's been a bit of a warm one yeah, it's day, warm isn't, again, it? isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But um, perhaps you've been I don't know, out and about. Yeah. I think. Well, you all got together this afternoon. I think, didn't you? All right. Been playing together, so I bet you've had a lovely time. Yeah. But it's now time for your bedtime. So it's story time with Nana and Grandad. So we are reading today a book called Learning to Swim. Well, so some of you have been learning yeah, to swim. Yeah, you've all been in the pool recently. I think you've been today, Ruby, haven't you? So um, if you're sitting comfortable, I don't know whose turn is it. Oh, oh whose turn oh. is it? Well, Nana will start. Nana. <laughs> Nana's. Nana's. Nana's turn. Nana, Nana. So Learning to Swim. Henrietta. Wakey, wakey, or we'll be late. Henrietta's mother put down the tray of green bananas she was carrying and opened the curtains in Henrietta's room. Henrietta opened one eye. Late for what? You haven't forgotten what day it is, have you? said her mother. Oh. Today is Saturday. Oh. Henrietta pulled a face. Rat burgers, she groaned as she sat up in bed. I hate Saturdays. What's the name? Henrietta. Henrietta Banana. No. Get on with it. Oh. <laughs> Up until the last two weeks, Henrietta had loved Saturdays, but now she had changed her mind. Saturday was the day when all the family went to the swimming pool and Henrietta had her swimming lesson. Boring, grumped, grumped Henrietta. She ate her green bananas in bed, told you. Henrietta Banana. I hate water and I don't want to learn to swim. As her mother turned to leave the room, Henrietta put her banana skin under the pillow and folded her arms. Yeah, I saw somebody do that earlier. Yeah. Her mother sighed. Daniel can swim. Henrietta snorted. He's a show-off. Her mother sighed once more. Daniel isn't a show-off. He's just a good swimmer. You could be a good swimmer young lady, if you just try a little bit harder at your swimming lessons and stopped acting like such a baby. She went off to make breakfast for baby Rose and Dad. Henrietta, banana, lay in bed and looked at the ceiling. It's not fair. Suddenly she jumped up and began to dance around the room. What a brilliant idea, she cried. No more swimming lessons for me. I've got a secret plan. Yippee! She picked up her felt-tip pens and her box of blue balloons. Then she skipped into the kitchen. After breakfast, the whole family set off for the swimming pool. Henrietta, her mother and her father pushing baby Rose in the buggy. Her sensible brother Daniel was carrying the towels. How come Henrietta never carries anything, said Daniel. I'm always the helpful one. What a creep, muttered Henrietta. She was never helpful. She doesn't sound very nice to Henrietta, does she? Usually when they walked to the swimming pool, Henrietta stayed at the back holding a tickling stick. And sometimes, only sometimes, it would ever so accidentally tittle Daniel's legs as he walked. Stop it, Henrietta, Daniel would say. Stop it, or I'll tell. Oh, sorry, Daniel, Henrietta would reply. And the tickling stick would accidentally tick Dan tittle Daniel again. But today Henrietta ran him along in front, holding on to her felt tip pens. Now where did I put my balloons? Ah, oh, here they are. She'd hidden them in one of her pockets. I wonder what she's going to do. Who knows? When she got to the swimming pool, Henrietta looked around her. Oh, so just make sure. The others hadn't finished changing yet. Better make sure that no one can see me, she thought. Quickly, she blew up a balloon and using her felt-tip pen, she drew on a pair of eyes just like her own eyes, then a nose just like her own nose. Then she placed the balloon in the swimming pool and pushed it so that it floated right out into the middle of the deep end. She sniggered to herself and hid behind a chair. Soon the rest of the family arrived. Look! cried Mum, pointing at the balloon. What on earth is that? Henrietta's father gasped and started to laugh. Then he nudged Daniel and winked at Mum. 
Good grief, he said. I think it's Henrietta. Doesn't she look strange? Her face has gone blue. Behind a chair, Henrietta sniggered and snorted. My plan is working. No more stupid swimming lessons for me. Her father picked up baby Rose and pointed at the balloon. Look at your big sister. Isn't she clever learned to swim all by herself? Behind the chair, Henrietta was having to hold her nose to stop herself from laughing. Laughing? Laughing? Laughing. <laughs> yes, I am clever, she chuckled, and so is my plan. She scratched her nose. Her mother waved at the balloon. Henrietta! She laughed. You are a clever little girl. I told you that you could, you could be a, a good swimmer if you tried. But Henrietta did not hear them all laughing at the balloon. She was too busy laughing herself. They think I'm in the water, she snorted, but I'm not. By now, she was laughing so hard that she could not stand up. Hee hee hee, she laughed. Ho ho ho. She noticed her nose was feeling all tickly. That's funny, she laughed. It feels as if someone is tickling my nose with a tickling stick. Ah, uh, tickling stick. Ah, uh, oh no, not my sneezy nose. She tried to hold it with both hands, but it was too late. Uh, tissue! She did the Henrietta hyper sneeze that blew over her chair and into the swimming pool, right on top of the balloon. When she opened her eyes, Henrietta saw that her mother and father <sighs> and even baby Rose all staring at her. Ha ha ha, fooled you, cried Henrietta. You thought that silly balloon was me. Well, it wasn't. I was hiding behind the chair all the time. Then she saw her sensible brother, Daniel. <clears throat> he was standing behind the chair, holding the biggest, ticklest, tickling stick Henrietta had ever seen. You knew all along, cried Henrietta. It used you tickling my nose, wasn't it? You made me sneeze and fall into the water, and I can't even swim. Help! Just then, Henrietta noticed something. I'm swimming, Mum, Dad, look. I told you that if you tried, you could swim, Henrietta. But Henrietta did not hear her. She was too busy sticking out her tongue at Daniel. Well, <laughs> So she did go and swim in the end, didn't she? And she could swim. Yeah. That's a funny story. I don't like that, Henrietta, do you, Nana? No. I think swimming's good. It's important to swim. It is important to know how to swim. Have lots yeah. of fun playing around in the water. Yeah, and you do, don't you? I know all of you love it. So that's really good. Even Max. Max went oh, swimming yesterday. I'm sat here. Max went swimming yesterday. Oh, did he? Very good. Well he, done, Max. Giggling and squealing because he really, really loved it. Fantastic. So everybody's it's been good. swimming. Yay. So I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. And we will see you again tomorrow. We will. So be well. be really really good. We be love good. you loads and loads and loads. Yes, we do. We love you. And we love we, you. Oh, Atty. Atty. And, and we love you. Toby. Ru Ruby. Ruby. Oh, and we love, love you. you. Max. Max. And, and we, we love, love you. Toby. Toby. Just to mix it up a bit. Yeah. Fantastic. Love you loads. Yeah. Sleep be really well. good. Sleep well. And see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.